Let's get it started here. We are on Sky Temple, and our blue team spawned on the left side. They are El Nexo. We have Vortex on Sergeant Hammer. Grand Pekate is playing Uther, and down in the bot lane as well with them is Alistair on Tychus. In the mid lane, we have Lol vs. XD playing Thrall, and top lane is taken by Lucifron on Mirrodin. Their opponents in the red trunks on the right side are Whiskey Coca, French team that just dominated on Monday. Let's see if they can do it again. We have Snitch on Kerrigan, Fontop playing Arthas, Arrel playing Turande, and last but not least, we have. Oh no, I forgot Nasty. Nasty is playing Vela. And last but not least is Kumada Boss playing Brightwing. And they're in the party stack. Party push. Ooh, I think, yep, Snitch just showed himself. A little bit of a mistake there. And now they're getting back into position. We'll clear this one wave and then everyone will get back into their lanes. But they're gonna lose a little bit of XP here. Lucifer is already waiting over here. And he needs to watch out. They're taking control of this watchtower. And everyone's coming to top lane. Well, not quite everyone, but... Still a nice triple stack here with Kerrigan, retaking control of the watchtower. And down here we have a party lane for El Nexo. Of course Vortex is in there, Don Piquete to heal him back up and Thrall. This is a really, really strong party lane for El Nexo. I think we'll, we'll have to see a reaction by Whiskey Coca. They will have to rotate this. But they're still waiting around here, maybe get a pick up on Alistair. That's a nice gank squad, Snitch, Fontop. And if they're helping out Nasty, that's a lot of damage output going with them as well. So good CC, good damage output, but Alistair isn't making no mistakes here. He's just staying back, staying in the safety behind his wall. They're returning. Just waiting. <laughs> they're just waiting for Alistair to make that move out. He's not making any mistakes. He's just sticking around. And there comes Lord vs. XD, Grand Pekete coming in as well. And Vortex, they're just rotating up, going for that mid-temple. And the mid-temple... It's a little bit better than the top temple, just because it attacks both lanes. There comes the root of Grand and they try to grasp him here. Can they get enough damage? Yes, they can. Snitch jumping in for the final blow there. And Lovus 60 trying to stop them, but nope, they're still in control of this. He can do a little bit of damage while the remainder of his team tries to join him. And Snitch is incredibly low. There comes the pullback on Vortex, and they get the kill, but Kerrigan also falls. Fontop is quite low. Can he get back? Uh, looks like he might be able to. No Lucifron jumps in. And gets a good stun off, but Kumado Boss coming in just in time to heal him back up. Nasty is quite low, so only Kumado Boss can take this temple for now. Still in control, but they're all coming in. He needs to watch out. Stun misses. Fun Boss and Nasty trying to back him off here again. Oops, sorry. Overlay should be fine now. Thanks for pointing that out. And Fontop is in there, but it's it's neutral again. They need to regain control. There's El Nexo getting a few more shots off. Overall, I think they got more shots in. Yep, it's already taken damage. Gate is down. Tower also taking quite a bit of damage. And now the final shots will also stay with El Nexo. Didn't quite get the in there in time. And that those final shots really hurt quite a bit. Until I choose otherwise. Luckily, um, Whiskey Coca also got um, control of Top Shrine for quite some time. So Top Temple was taken here by Roll. Now let's have a look at the talents, see if we have any surprises over here. Um, not really, we'll have to check out Kerrigan's build, Sweeping Grasp and Envenom. Of course Envenom also available here for Arthas. And down here we have the Owl build, um, the Sentinel. We'll also pass through other heroes now. Ooh, called our Mule on Tyrande. And we have Cleanse on Brightwing. Overkill built by Tychus. And... Okay, interesting. Resistant for Sergeant Hammer. Maybe uh, maybe just as a result to, um, to Arthas Kerrigan combo? I would like to think so. Over here we have Envenom for Thrall. And double first aid. Yeah, they're just trying to counter this uh, double support combo. Cleanse on Uther. And... So far, looking really good um, with their talent choices. On top, just soloing this lane versus Alistair. We saw a little bit of a rotation here. Vortex is now in mid lane, has to go up against Vala. And they will push this bottom lane quite hard now. Roll will join them, and Brightwing is taking top lane. And 
The reason for this is because Brightwing can just teleport down once the next temple uh, appears. And the next temple will be the Bard Temple. And I think they're working this out quite well. They will have to react to the, the Sea Giants now. And that gives them a little bit of time to maybe catch someone off guard and get into position for that next temple. 10 seconds and it's up. Yeah, now they can just pressure here, try to keep him back. And Valor will probably rotate down soon. And Brightwing, oh, she's just trying to stop this onslaught. Vortex and Lucifron applying so much pressure in the top lane. That's quite a bit of pressure coming in. Tychus will join them, so they're just trying to stop or trying to go for this fort and will completely forego uh, the temple down here. They know they don't stand a chance right now. And, wow, level 10 will go to Whiskey Coca first. These guys are really on fire the past couple days. Maybe they changed their training regiment or something, but they're really doing well here. But I still think that Fontop and Snitch need to watch out, because El Nexo is almost level 10 as well. And this steal is extremely risky. Bala still trying to keep them occupied over here, but Lol vs XD, he might see this. They're cleaning it up really fast, and they will get that steal, but... Uh, don't, don't misunderstand me here, that was extremely risky. Now, trying to push. Mid lane, all taken up by Whiskey Coca. And there comes that push. Uh, no surprises on the heroics on El Nexo's side. Over here we have Starfall and Blinky are being taken, and of course Rain of Vengeance on Bala. And it looks like they're not going for a team fight just yet. Next one should be Top Shrine and uh, Bottom Shrine, I think. I think that should be the one. Ooh, they're just pushing. The oh, they're just applying pressure in top lane now. This fort will definitely go down. And El Nexo is using that time to go for the boss. I don't know if this is a good idea. I mean, they didn't really push all that hard in bot lane. So I think what's gonna happen here is Whiskey Coco just turning around, hardstoning back, and defending their fort. And they're just way ahead right now. Two forts down, one fort already taking quite a bit of damage, and they're just going for counter pressure here, going for the keep and not really turning back just yet. They should realize that the boss is coming in. So I think they will have to go back and stop And stop him. Hmm? No. Not Hearthstoning back at least. Oh, Lucifron, you need to watch out. There comes the root and CC out of Kerrigan. Wow. He just burst down so quickly. Whiskey Coca, man. Definitely in really good control in this game. One and a half level advantage. Might go for this fort and just completely ignore the temple, but at this point, you don't really need all four heroes in the temples to um, keep controlling them. So they might just go for two heroes, three heroes, and have one just push, push that fort. But wait, they will just get it with the laser shots by the temples. And El Nexo just now getting in position for the next temple, so that's gonna give a little bit of an edge here to Whiskey Coca. They will probably uh, go over there, try to force a team fight, and then go get those final shots in. But no, they're playing this really interestingly, going for the Bruiser camp, not even trying to contest the temple. They're just gonna not care about that bottom lane going down, um, taking a few shots, and yeah. instead just go for the go for the next keep. And maybe wait again, get a nice pick up here like Muradin last time. Right wing is the only one in bottom lane trying to stop these minions. But I think this is working out quite well for them so far. Two level advantage now. They will go for their own bruisers. Should come in just in time for that next temple to spawn. My temple's magic subsides. Well, oh, maybe, maybe not quite, since the last one took so long down here. But still, so far they're in really good control. So, do you have any any surprises? Oh, Triple Relentless. This is gonna work wonders for Whiskey Coca. Brightwing, Kerrigan, and Tyrande going for that rewind. And Sergeant Hammer. Going for a little bit of a mix here on her build. Going for mines as well as the increased, re increased range. 
mid lane is in trouble, but Tyrande's mule definitely helping out here, keeping that fort alive. Really useful in these situations. We only have one rewind on Mirrodin. And Relentless taken by Tychus. Down here, just the build on Wind Fury. Oh, good Sundering. It was just a nice defensive Sundering. Oh, there's the CC and Thrall just falls so incredibly quickly. Whiskey Coca, man, they're picking picking them up one by one. El Nexa not really sticking close to each other. That's the bribe of one of these Sea Giants and they will push this bottom lane now. El Nexo down one player for at least 20 seconds. So this push is gonna do quite a bit of damage here. All the heroics are up. So let's see what they can do. Level 16 talents, stone skin and blood for blood on both Valor and Kerrigan. And we have the Sentinel Ranger. So definitely a snipe build out of Tyrande. I think that's a really nice move. And it looks like they don't want to force this engagement now with that Thrall is back in the game again. Still have that two level advantage and if they can keep it and just keep control of this of this top temple or middle temple, they will get one keep here. I mean this one uh, already took a little bit of damage, Manuel took a little bit of damage and down here also a little bit of damage in. Oh Lucifron, you gotta watch out, good stun to stop Funtop dead in his tracks. Where's that root? Where's that root? There's the CC, but it was cleansed. Good job on that cleanse, Grand Picate, and there's a nice divine storm. Keeping nasty back, but he's so incredibly low. He's just going in for the kill. Sergeant Hammer goes down. Alistair will drop here, and it's still 5v3. Low versus 60. Can he run? I think he might be. Yep, he can run. There's that heal. And Whiskey Coco just staying back. They know they're quite low. They might be able to maybe draw someone out here. But Brightwing is going back, going to capture that temple. They will go for at least one keep. And with three heroes down for another 15 seconds, they might go for a kill straight away. So whoever said that El Nexo is just gonna stomp anyone tonight? Anyone and everyone? Um, well, maybe they're just having a bad day, but Whiskey Coca, they're on fire on this map. And there's another Grasp, just keeping solid control of this temple. Right wing took a little bit of damage, but he, she can just port back, get all the mana back up, and then join the fight again. And looks like El Nexo is not gonna get here in time to do anything about this. Oh, they're just sticking around, and those final shots just went out. So that's the next keep going down. Two keep advantage. That is insane. Only two forts taken out for by El Nexo so far. The route misses onto Kumado boss. And they're level 16 now, oh Vortex, with that Hover Siege, can he get away? Where's that root? Oh, it misses barely. And Lucifron, not quite entering the Avatar state. Oh, nice Polymorph onto Lucifron, but he's still alive in there. And Grand Picate with a good Divine Storm, but not the best. And the front top cut out there on the left side a little bit, but Lover 60 running straight into the Reign of Vengeance. He falls so quickly, Kerrigan also taken out there. Lucifron dropping quite low, but front top needs to get back, there's that heal. Keeping them alive for a little bit longer. Whiskey Coco, they need to turn this around right now. I mean, Uther was incredibly low, Murder was quite low, but still, they don't have any mana. They can they cannot stop this right now. We'll need to use that mana well and then get back in here. Try to defend that fort. And Font Up just jumping on top of Vortex. Where's that root? Uh, misses again. Good timing on that boost by Vortex. Just incredible timing. Trying to chase Murden down here, but he will get away. Gives him a little bit of a timing to go for the boss, but Kerrigan is still gone for another 15 seconds, so it's a little bit risky. Then instead, instead just clear their lanes and try to muster up again. So will El Nexo. I mean, they need to fight two lanes, or three lanes, with catapults now. No, two lanes. That bottom keep is still alive. That's, this is why Whiskey Coco will now completely focus on bottom lane, go for two siege camps at the same time, and maybe even the boss, but nope. That temple has spawned again. Oh, Arthas needs to watch out, you're the only one here right now. Oh, nice owl, nice sentinel. Good shot here. Roll is definitely killing it with Tyrande. Seems to be his best hero. 
And they're just completely forgoing this middle Guardian, temple. Going for the top temple. Do not let these mortals approach them. Shouldn't really matter all that much for now. Let's see what Brightwing is up to these days. Oh, El Nexo turning this around. And Grand Picate, if he can get in there with a good Divine Storm. They're just losing, lose the front to bait this out. Nice Sundering, getting everyone back. Where's that Divine Storm? There it is. Snitch falls again. Nasty will drop here as well. And, oh, Thrall. They can get Thrall. And maybe even Alistair. But Fontop drops, and with that, Tyrande needs to get needs to get out of there, but can she run? Can she run fast enough? I don't think so. This should be the team kill for El Nexo. Yep, there it goes. Maybe the start of a comeback here, but they're down to only their core, and it's already taken quite a bit of damage. Four Seed Shines are coming in, and a round of Catapults. So, they just have to be scared of a nice little backdoor attempt by Whiskey Coca. Yeah. Okay, we'll clear those up, but the core is down to 65% health. First keep finally taking damage here on, L on Whiskey Coca's side. But that was an incredible fight for El Nexo. I gotta say, I mean, amazing timing on the Thundering, and then Uther running in there, going for the Divine Storm of his life. They're almost level 20. They can still turn this game around. That's for sure. So I think Whiskey Coca are gonna try to fight for that next temple, because the next temple might actually kill the core already. And the next one is three temples. You're, I think you're right, Igorovich. I think it's all three temples. Or it could also be top and bottom. So let's see. Maybe Whiskey Coco going for the boss now. They just saw that the bruises were taken, so they know they have a little bit of a timing, but they need to throw out a lot of abilities on this boss if they want to kill him fast. Lucifer is already in position, so is Thrall. Maybe he can put out a good Sundering and then they can go for a steal. Oh, they've been spotted now. And, yep, they're gonna go for a steal here on the boss. They need to watch out. Whiskey Coco could also come in any time. There is Snitch jumping right on top of Alistair. Rain of Vengeance coming out, killing Lolvis. Oh, Lolvis XD gets away, but Alistair is so incredibly low. There's the Divine Hurricane. And gets a nice CC out of everyone. Fontop is still in this, but he's completely blocked off from the rest of his team. Lord vs. XD incredibly low, Kumado was doing a little bit of damage onto him, so does Rawl, Nasty jumping in, Thrall does fall, and Lucifron, the only one left here on the on this side, and there comes the Root, they should get the kill here, there's the Polymorph, and they finally get that kill, Brightwing taken out by Vortex there, but he knows that he should fall here at least, the good pushback, ooh, Napalm strike, almost killing Fontop, and whatever happened to that boss? <laughs> Hope, it's already on the way. It's already on the way. Let's see if Raw can just kill this game right here and now. The entirety of El Nexo is down. And there are a couple bruisers coming in for Whiskey Coca. Gold will just do all the damage she can. This is gonna be enough. Nope, she's gonna turn around. Nasty just waiting in the temple. And uh, ooh, she's incredibly low, down to 550 health. Roll came back with the catapults. Shields are gone now. Ooh, Roll need get, needs to get out of that fight. Ooh, that's a Divine Hurricane just for all. I don't know. I don't think that was worth it. And the core will fall. Whiskey Coca takes this game versus El Nexo. Wow. That's the surprise game of the night for sure. Wow. Insanity. Whiskey Coca, what the hell have these guys done over the past few weeks? They're just they're just killing it. That's three wins in a row in the HCL. They were they were the underdog of this whole tournament, and now they're turning us around? Wow!